So welcome back, people. So both of these juggernauts have both weighed in now, you know what I mean, for their anticipated matchup tomorrow night. Which, you know what I mean, both guys have weighed in under the 12-7 stone um, limit. So hopefully, you know what I mean, uh, the fight is definitely going ahead. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a good matchup between both guys. Both of them looking good, a good place at the minute. You know what I mean? Obviously, they look fit, they look healthy, and most importantly, focused. Now, the difference between both of these guys and, let's say, someone like a, a Chris Eubank Jr. is that they don't really do too much, um, you know what I mean? They're basically, they don't really talk too much bullshit. Um, and they let their, you know what I mean, their, their boxing do the talking in the ring, which is what I like. Um, and especially from Baturbio's point of view, do you know what I mean? He's, again, un undefeated. Do you know what I mean? He's got he's got a crazy amount of uh, KO percentage at the minute, you know what I mean? So he's knocked pretty much most, pretty much all of his opponents out. So he's the man who's, you know what I mean, put, putting everything on the line to obviously fight his mandatory challenger in Yard. And obviously Yard, you know what I mean, this is a big step up in, in class. You know what I mean? He hasn't fought anyone to, you know what I mean, Baturbiev's level really. Obviously he fought a Kovalev. Yes, obviously Kovalev knocked him out. But thinking about it, if that was a Kovalev four or five years prior to that, I don't think Yard would have, you know what I mean, anticipated that fight. I don't think he would have wanted to articulate in that fight because um, a Kovalev back in the days was a destroyer, a bit like a Baturbi of how he is now. So, you know what I mean, this is a big step up, you know what I mean, in class for um, for Yard. And it's going to be interesting to see how he handles it. But I feel as if, if he does, you know what I mean, stick to his game plan, because obviously they've got a game plan and I hope that they have more than one game plan because I feel as if they're going to need that in this fight. Then, you know what I mean, they can have some success. But... Depending on how he, you know, I mean, anticipates and how he reacts in the fight, you know, I mean, when he's when he's having his success, will determine how the outcome of the fight would be. If he's reckless and he jumps in, he's going to get caught, he's going to get hurt, he's going to get stopped. So he has to, you know, I mean, be patient, but he has to try and stick it to his man at times as well. But for me, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I want Yard to win. You know what I mean? For him being a British fighter. But, you know what I mean? Will he win? You know what I mean? I'm giving it a 60-40 60, 60, 60, in favour of Baturbiev. You know what I mean? As I said, my heart's going with Yard. But, you know what I mean? All the stats, my mind and everything is saying that Baturbiev's just going to win. And most boxing pundits haven't really given, you know what I mean, Yard much chance, really. You know what I mean? You've got Bob Arum, you know what I mean, P potentially talking with uh, Eddie Hearn saying that. Um, they could potentially make the Bivol versus Baturbiev fight, you know what I mean, on ESPN. You know what I mean? Clearly dismissing Yard, saying that he's going to pretty much go through him and win. Do you know what I mean? But I feel as if this could be a penalty shootout type of fight, you know what I mean? Who lands first kind of sort of thing. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how their opposition takes it. But as I said, do you know what I mean? Both guys look in a good place, you know what I mean? They've made weight. They look healthy, they look focused, which is most importantly. Um, I just hope that tomorrow night, you know what I mean, we get to see a blockbuster of a fight. Um, but I don't see it going, I don't see this one definitely lasting the 12 rounds. Um, I know I pretty much said the opposite, obviously, with the Eubank and Smith. I thought that would have went the distance, but it didn't. And obviously, Eubank got stopped. But with this one, I honestly don't see this going the distance. I feel as if someone's going to get stopped um, it's going to end within eight rounds. Do you know what I mean? I'll probably say six, but eight rounds, I think the fight will be done. Um, the winner, you know what I mean? Most people on paper would say Baturbiev, you know what I mean? But my heart is saying Yard. You know what I mean? I want Yard to win. But anyway, you guys let me know your last thoughts in regards to this potential big, big fight which is happening tomorrow night. Um, as I said, I'm looking forward to it and we've only got one day left to, to wait now until we see it. So as always, guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Bless.